when I first built Artil, I never really thought about doing events, to be honest. Um, I built it for the pure selfish reason that I just wanted an Artil. Um, but I did start doing events, and I'm really glad that I did. I've uh, done Star Wars weekends, I've done uh, Comic Cons, uh, done Cinema Visit, Disney Store, Chai Fundraisers, uh, Hospital Visits, um, I've even done a wedding. And most are really good fun. Uh, some are tough, um, like the hospital visits. Um, but my experience so far is the ones that are the hardest and the toughest are definitely uh, the most rewarding. My favourite event, I would say, was the Candlelighters Christmas, um, Children's Christmas Party. It was held at the Royal Armoury Museum in Leeds. Um, it's sourced every year um, for the families of children that are poorly or have been poorly going for a, a tough time. Um, the invites from the UKG to the club and the joy, big kids, little kids, where they see, you know, favourite characters from Star Wars and uh, R2. And it's, that's one of the, the, the best things, you know, seeing their reaction um, at these events. I mean, that's, that's definitely um, one of the things that I love, I love seeing. But I think the most memorable one, the one that really sticks in my mind, was um, a special request to be there at the end of uh, radiotherapy treatment for a, a grave little four-year-old boy named Matthew. Um, I was there with R2, um, along with um, the rebel pilot, um, there waiting for Matthew as he came out of the treatment room uh, with a little stormtrooper costume. Um, the, I'll never forget the image I have in my mind watching Matthew hold on to Arthur's shoulder as he as we walk down the corridor to the area where you ring the bell. Um, and having a young daughter myself at the time I was only a few years older than Matthew. Um, it was it was definitely one of the hardest things I've ever done. But at the same time it's um, it's it is special you know, to, to be able to give like, you know, this little bit of joy, a little bit of light and a really dark time and to these people. Um, it's, it's something that, that I'll, I don't think I'll ever take for granted doing, doing the events and I think it's one of the reasons why I'll always continue to do events. Um, yeah, I think, it, I think it's, it's something I never expected to get from it, you know, from just having fun driving, you know, a remote control, big remote control toy you like around, but um, yeah, it is. It is, it is good fun and it is rewarding. Um, so anybody that's not done an event before or you know got an R2 ready to, ready to go and they're more teed and I'll definitely, when, when, hopefully when things get back to normal, I'll definitely recommend getting out there. Um, hospital visits are, are very rewarding. Um, anything for charity always give you the feel good factor. Um, yeah, just go, go and have fun with it.
I do events and I love taking our two to events with me because not only do we raise loads of money for charity, I get to show off my R2D2 that I've built and everybody who sees him thinks he's real, he's loved by everybody and it's just a pleasure to take him out and see the countless smiles on people's faces when they see him. He's, they think he's real, I try to make him look like he's real and yeah, I thoroughly enjoy taking him to any and every event. My most memorable event with my R2 was when we were on Saturday Night Takeaway with Ant and Deck earlier this year. It was one of the most proudest and unforgettable moments I've ever had with him. It was just brilliant. I, as you know, I still watch it on TV now and it's great to see it. It was really quick, I know, but it was absolutely fantastic. And I hope to, when this pandemic is over, get our 2 d out there again and carry on raising more money for the charity.